Good morning, it's Ezra here. I know it's been a while since you've heard from me, but I just wanted to give you a little uh, update on what's been going on uh, um, in my life and in the life of this channel. First of all, uh, some of you may, uh, may have seen last week that I produced a video called Land Bridge uh, about saving the historic Riverside Figueroa Bridge from demolition. And uh, that video was incredibly well received and uh, I was really pleased with the way it came out. I, I have a tendency to be very critical and I thought that it didn't come out quite the way I wanted to, partially because of the rain and it was my first time really trying to up the game a little bit and uh, I'd gotten some help. But it came out really great and all the people who uh, have seen it have been very supportive and it has helped to drive awareness of the bridge. So if you haven't already signed the petition, then uh, make sure... If you haven't already signed the petition, please be sure to click the link below, sign the petition, let the city of Los Angeles know that this is a historic cultural monument and it needs to be saved. Um, and then the, another cool thing that came about from that was that I got an interview uh, with uh, Lisa Napoli of Which Way LA on KCRW, and I, I had a four minute segment about myself and the, the bridge, and in which one point she actually called me a self-styled Huell Hauser. To make their point, a few weeks ago, supporters dragged tables and chairs onto the bridge to make a pop-up park. Ezra made a video about it. In his spare time, he's a self-styled nouveau Huell Hauser. Hey! We're in a pop-up park on the Riverside Figueroa Bridge! Thanks, Lisa. It was really great to meet you, and I was really honored that you would want to interview me. Uh, I've never really considered that maybe I have a bit of an activist heart, but uh, now that I've seen you know, what, I, what I'm capable of, uh, it's pretty exciting and it's an angle of uh, media creation and of, uh, of community energy that I've never considered. Now it's on to a personal update. Now, um, some of you may have been following this channel for a long time and know that um, you know, I've gone through a, a change in my relationship status. I had been with uh, my, my boyfriend for four years and uh, it, it wasn't really working for me anymore and uh, I was starting to not like the person I was becoming and I chose to end it and it did not end in the way that I would hope but it was very difficult and I mean I don't think breakups usually are easy but um, you know in generally <laughs> the frustration that I've had is that you know I really love having companionship and I love having someone to uh, to call, you know, to be my number one, and, uh, you know, to be able to say, hey, what are you up to, what do you want to do, and uh, I've started seeing this guy, Ryan, and uh, you may have seen him in a few videos and been wondering what his role is in my life, and uh, while we've been dating for a couple of months, I'm still sort of sorting through some emotions, and I haven't really fully, you know, decided that, you know, what we are yet, but I've definitely been dating him, and uh, I have grown very attached to him and it seems like it's heading in the direction of a of a relationship and uh, you know basically the last couple of videos he's been in he's been a delight to be with he's gonna be um, helping me with some stuff this weekend and just in general he's a super sweet guy um, we had a really terrific day a couple weekends ago and it was the day of Ciclavia and we went out during Ciclavia and we worked on the New Belgian Snapshot LA uh, scavenger hunt and so all day we were biking and taking photos of places around LA which I know very well because I know all, all about Wilshire Boulevard. I have a book about Wilshire Boulevard and all the places along it so we totally nailed it. We got all of them together. I had such a good time. Came home from Ciclavia around 4 o'clock. We were just relaxing in my living room and I you know went to leave uh, because I had had a commitment, prior commitment that evening to go and help uh, a friend of mine do some uh, judging for an award show. Um, nothing big, just a, a small little award show. And, uh, you know, so I was heading over there. And as I was leaving, you know, I, I had been thinking about how it had been such a great day. And I, it made me sad to know that, you know, he was going to go home and I wouldn't get to see him anymore. And so I kind of said, hey, you know, you don't have to rush out. You know, I know you just we just did an exhausting ride all day. Like, you can chill in the house, just lock the door behind you. And as I was hanging out with my other friends, just kind of doing this judging, I was thinking about him, and I was thinking, gosh, I wish that I could spend a little more time with him. And anyway, I came home, and he had moved his car out of the garage, and I just 
assumed that meant that he had left, but he had moved it so I could park. I came upstairs and he was there, and I was so exhausted. But it was just it was just such a touching thing for me to have someone sense that same feeling of like wanting to spend a little more time and to to do that. And it it really touched me. And I I, I know he's something special. So, um, you know, I, I don't I no longer presume to know the future, but I do know that I can't wait to see him again, and uh, he's been a great companion in a lot of adventures, and uh, so you know, we'll just see what happens. But So the next week, we actually found out we did win the bike, and we went to go pick it up at the LA Weekly, and uh, it, I have a nice bike. He actually needed a new bike, and he loves the bike. It's this big, fat tire. Literally has fat tires, but it's also a fat tire, New Belgium Brewing. Uh, themed bike and it's so cool it's very very high end very well built and you know he's 6'2 he's a bigger guy you know like he needs a big sturdy bike and it's it, it he looks really good on it and uh, he took it for a spin he rode over to my house uh, the, the same day he got it and uh, we hung out and uh, you know he rode all across LA and he's just like I can't believe how small it is like how small Los Angeles is by bike and I'm like I know right anywho so yeah, in general, things are going really good in that area, and uh, it makes me optimistic. But I still, I still struggle with a lot of, um, just a lot of guilt and a lot of stress and a lot of feelings because you know I really, I really do still have some feelings for my ex, and you know I don't know if he watches these or not, but I've been unable to contact him because one of the last things he said to me when we were breaking up is that I shouldn't always try to have the last word and that, you know, I need to basically stop talking to him. And so I did and he got the last word. And and the thing is, it's probably good because I do care about him enough that it would probably be detrimental to other areas of my life if I continued to talk. But um, I don't know if I'm going to include that in the video. <laughs> But, you know, when you love someone for a long time, even if it's not right and it's not good anymore, and you know that, um, you know, they change who you are and they affect the things that that you are. And uh, sometimes, you know, it feels like L.A. is haunted because I did so much with him. And uh, that's why it's nice that I have someone who's helping me make new memories in the city and get uh, get my life back. I hope and I pray that my ex is getting his life back too. Um, I never wanted to cause pain or, or hurt in anyone's life. I just wanted to get my needs met and everybody seeks out what they need in life and I wasn't getting what I needed and uh, and I really don't believe that he was getting what he needed either. So, so be it. Moving on. This Saturday, April 26th, is one day in LA. Um, nonprofits and individuals across the city are going to be filming around the city, um, answering some of the questions that they've posted on their website, including, why are you in your city? What do you love about your city? What is the biggest thing happening in your city today? What are your city's biggest challenges? Who, are your, who is your city not serving? What is the worst thing that could happen to your city? What are the solutions that your city needs to implement? How are people changing the future of your city? What do you hope for your city in the next 20 years? And you can ask your own questions as well. So this is a thing they're doing in cities all across the world. And, uh, you know, I think it's a kind of a cool concept. I'm going to be down um, on the LA River. There's a bunch of different uh, pop-ups and events happening on the river. You can uh, make, make sure to check out the link below and see some uh, more details about the places I'm going to be going. Um, you know, basically some really cool stuff is happening on, along the river. There's pop-up cafes, there's the Riverside Figueroa Bridge. You know, the river is the reason the city's here, and, and it's just, honestly, it's a, it's, it's a gem. And I know if you go there, it can be sometimes demoralizing to see how disrespected it is, but mm, that's our fault. I think the river still deserves our respect just because we've mistreated it and we've done things to it that have made it unattractive doesn't mean that it isn't important and it isn't very much vital to the existence of our city and as a place of peace and recreation um, and a gathering point in the community. I mean, communities have always gathered by the water. On another personal update, I went back east 
Um, for my best friend's wedding, my friend Tanner got married to his fiance of 10 years, um, and I want to wish them many congratulations and many years of happiness. I know they will be. They're so great together. I was very honored to be the best man and to be able to stand by my best friend's side and see him make a very big commitment to a person that he loves very, very much. And, um, you know, Nancy, Tanner, love you guys very much. It was so great to be able to spend some time with you. And uh, I will see you again sooner rather than later, I hope. Thanks for watching Ezra Loves Los Angeles. This is just a quick vlog update. But I just want you to know I do have more content coming. i got a couple of projects in the works. And I'm trying to get back into the habit again. I just, truth be told, I had a little bit of a breakdown. And I needed, to, needed some time for myself. And that's going to happen. You know, I'm human. I have my obligations and my weaknesses like everybody else. And I'm just going to do my best. And... What I tell people is that someday I want to be able to look back and say, oh, look at this body of work I have. I want to be able to be 60 years old and say, oh, I've got 30 years, 35 years of of content that I've made over the years about my city and about my community and, and, and to feel proud of that. Um, so I hope you'll stick with me on that journey because uh, it's, go it's going to be a long road and uh, I want to be there with you. Thanks for watching Ezra Loves Los Angeles. If you want to keep up with me, make sure to follow me on Facebook, facebook.com slash Ezra Loves LA, or Instagram.com slash Ezra Loves LA, um, or on Twitter at Ezra Horn.